Do you know how to write the equation of a line when it's part of a family of lines? Let's take a look at an example. Here's a family of parallel lines. Now, how would we write the equation for the yellow line? Well, let's say we start with the form of the equation y equals mx plus b. The slope is 1. That's been given to us. So y equals 1x, or x, plus b, which is the y-intercept. The y-intercept of this line is at positive 2. So the equation for this line is y equals x plus 2. What about the dark purple line right here? Well, we start with y equals mx plus b. The slope is the same, y equals 1x, or x, but this line intersects the y-axis at negative 2, so we're going to put minus 2. Here's the equation for this second line. Now what about if we were going to do this dark blue line right here? Well again, y equals the slope, which is x, plus, where does it intersect the y-axis? At 0, plus 0. So we can say y is equal to x, or 1x. This is the equation for this third line. Now let's look at a family of perpendicular lines. Here's a family of perpendicular lines. Notice that these lines have different slopes, but they have the same y-intercept. So let's start with y equals mx plus b. And let's look at writing the equation for this light purple line. Well, the y-intercept is 0. We need to figure out the slope. So we have something x plus 0. Now, slope is equal to rise over run. So if we start at the y-intercept, we go up 2 and over 1, you will see that this line has a slope of 2x. Because our y-intercept is 0, we don't even need that part. This is the equation for the line. What about this light blue one? Let's take a look at how to work with that. Again, y equals mx plus b, y equals something x plus 0. Again, rise over run. We go up 2, but this one intersects at a negative 1. So the slope of this one is 2 over negative 1, which becomes a negative 2. And we can write this as y equals negative 2x. This is the equation for this line. Using slope and y-intercept, we can write the equation for families of lines.